Welcome to the Belmont Journal. This is Genakai White Law. Powers Music School of Belmont recently found a new home. Their school opened up their doors and gave us a tour. Citizen Journal's Komoko Kai White Law reports. So we just moved in last week and opened our doors three days ago. <clears throat> In here we have our group piano room, <clears throat> where we have piano classes for young beginners and adults. So this is our early music room, where all of our students who are studying Baroque instruments like the harpsichord or the viola da gamba come for their classes and lessons. And on the second floor, we have 12 more teaching studios. Great. Let's do the same thing on the A string. was great. I want to stop you and I'm going to ask you when you start to really make sure the bow is on the string before you start to move. This space with big rooms and a nice clean hallway, it's just great. It's just great. And we've got a good room for the rock band I'm coaching and there's a beautiful performance space. And there are the acoustics of it is like much more pretty. Um, with the bigger space, um, so I quite enjoyed it. So by far the best thing about our new home is a performance hall. So this will be our performance hall where, we'll, where we will have all school recitals, uh, individual um, teacher recitals, our Suzuki program will hold its concerts here, and our annual festivals, the Stein Festival, uh, which is for chamber music, and the Freiburg Piano Festival will take place in this space. I'm Sarah Freiburg, and my mother, Mildred Freiburg, was one of what we call the founding mothers of the what is now called the Powers Music School. I believe that the school, the Powers Music School, started because there were a number of musicians in the community and they had children who they wanted to have lessons and they wanted them to have lessons in town and so they started the music school first just with the idea of having piano students have a place to play for each other and then realizing that there was a need for teachers to give students lessons right here in Belmont and so what started off as something pretty small grew into this wonderful community music organization. This book is a compendium of all the Stein Chamber Music Festivals. There's, here's my, my mother playing piano with Margaret Dusenberry in the, um, one of the early years, the second year. And one of the great things about it in honoring Joe Stein is that most of the players are amateurs, students of all ages who just love to play and love to have someone to play for. And it's a very special festival in that way. Powers is a place where Belmont and surrounding communities can come together and share in the joy of learning and making music together. That's been our mission since we were founded nearly 60 years ago. Uh, and this space just enables us to reach that mission even more fully. Twice as fast. And I miss the old place because I'm kind of, what is the word, um, sentimental. <laughs> but this is really, we're not used to having the high ceilings 
Chloe and I, in the, where we were, we were just like right on top of each other. So it's nice to be able to, especially with COVID involved, it's nice that we're not, not masked and that we're um, able to see each other, and, but we have a good, you know, good six feet between us at least, or we could have more. Um, so this is my first hour here in this space, and I'd say so far so good. Ever since COVID, it's just been like masks and the distance, and it's really nice to be close to each other again and like feel comfortable. Thank you.